Today we are going to look at one of the most incredible stocks I have ever seen. The returns on invested capital of this company is 99%. The company has free cash flow margins of 66%. No debt at all. Revenues have been growing by 28% annually for the past 10 years. It is a real estate company. But before we talk about this, let's talk about investing in real estate in general. Whenever people ask me the question, what do I think about real estate? I always say that stocks are better because investing in a company, the company can grow over the long term. While if let's say you buy a house, it is going to stay at the same size. It is not going to grow, but a company, it can grow. Whenever you are making an investment, whether it is real estate, stocks, bonds, gold, crypto, anything else, you're putting money somewhere and you expect that you're going to get more money in the future. Of course, some of them might be riskier than others, but this is the idea of making an investment. In the case of real estate, let's say you're buying a house for $1 million and you have a mortgage and also you, the cash that you have put into the house. $1 million, this is the invested capital. It is in either in the form of debt, the mortgage or equity but it is the invested capital. It is the same thing for a business. Now, if you're going to rent it for $2,000 a month, that is $24,000 a year, it means the returns on invested capital is 2.4%. But you can get higher than that with stocks, which is why I believe that stocks are a better investment long-term. In my own personal case, I have a property, real estate property that I own, my total invested capital in that is only $10,000. It's because I inherited it. When I was 15 years old, my mother passed away. I inherited part of it. And two years ago, my father passed away too. I inherited another part. My stepmother also inherited about three eighths of the house and I bought it from her. I had to make some renovations, but the total invested capital for me is only $10,000. I'm renting it at $200 a month right now, in total, I'm making $2,400 a year on that property. But still, if you count my returns on invested capital, it's 24% a year, which is great compared to the average house. The only reason I was able to achieve this is because I did not make the capital investment. They were done by my parents decades ago. You may say it's a good thing, some people have told me, but of course I had to lose both of my parents to inherit the house. It depends how you see it. But just looking at it financially, my returns on invested capital is only on the investment I have made in the house. We forget the ones that were made by my parents 30 years ago, over 30 years ago. Why I'm telling you this story? Because the company we are going to talk about today has a little a similar story. This company is called Texas Pacific Land Corporation, ticker symbol TPL. TPL is one of the largest landowners in Texas and all of their land are on the Permian Basin, which is one of the fastest growing oil area in the world. We know that in the coming years, in the coming decades, the US wants to be self-sufficient in oil. The Permian Basin is going to be very active in the near future. In 2019, I look at all the oil producers in the Permian Basin. I made some investments. These companies have already been acquired, but I did not look at the companies that own the land. In the case of TPL, they own the land and then they lease it to the oil producers. That's why they don't have any capital expenditures themselves. They don't need to drill anything. They don't need any big expenses. This company has only 100 employees. The only thing they need to do is to own the land and lease it. Then ExxonMobil, Chevron, Occidental Petroleum are going to come do the drilling, produce the oil, make some profit on the oil, give some royalties to TPL and TPL is going to pay its shareholders. It is important to know a little the history of the company to know why it is such a great company. It all starts in the 19th century in 1850 when the US government decided to enact a few laws granting land to railroads. So if you're building a railroad, you get the land on both sides. There was one railroad founded in 1871, Texas Pacific Railroad, that got some of the land. And then the company went bankrupt. 
But when it went bankrupt, it formed a trust to put all the land that it got. This trust is what we call Texas Pacific Land Trust. As a trust, it was paying dividends to its owners and it was selling the land. But only recently, we have discovered that the Permian Basin is one of the richest oil regions in the world. Before that, the land was used for oil exploration. Yes, it was used for other things, but nobody knew how much oil was there. And especially with fracking, more oil was able to be extracted. That's why recently the stock price skyrocketed so much. Because the value of the land is much more than people were anticipating in the past. But this company, today, how it is, it did not make any investment. The investments were made by the Payright company over 100 years ago, nearly 150 years ago. That company went bankrupt and it inherited all that land today. So that's why it is able to lease all the land without any cost. Recently transited from a trust to a corporation. Now they have the ability to buy more land if they want, to even uh, or build their own operating business, which is in water. For fracking, we need water. That's why they have expanded their number of employees. But still, it's a low capital business. And they don't need to pay dividends. They can also buy back shares, which they have been doing. But I won't be investing in such a company. At least not right now. Because the PE ratio is over 50. The earnings yield is 2%. And you can get better returns investing in US treasuries. It's like asking me if I was going to buy my house today, the one that I told you I inherited, would I buy it? It depends on the price. I got it at a very low price. The price that my stepmom asked was a very low price. She could have asked for bigger, but then would it make sense to buy it? I don't know. You have to look at the math. But in the case of TPL, the price at which it is being sold on the New York Stock Exchange, I don't think it makes sense to buy this company. But there are similar companies being traded at better prices. The only difference is that these companies, they have to buy the land. They did not inherit the land. Most of them, at least, they have to buy the land. And there are dozens of such companies. I have looked at almost all of them. There's one in Germany, which is quite interesting. They only have two employees. And I was shocked that Germany has oil. Yeah, they do have some oil, maybe some drop of oil and they need these two employees to make sure that they are recovering the lease from Shell and ExxonMobil. There is something here you have to be careful that this is oil. You're going to run out of oil eventually. The land can be used for other things, but eventually the royalties they're getting from the oil and gas itself is going to be depleting. Most of the trusts I have looked at, they are leasing to only one or two companies, some of them more than that, but eventually the oil is getting depleted and their revenues are going down. So make sure when you're investing in one of such companies that they are not really a trust, that they can make acquisitions. When they are making these acquisitions, they can expand, but make sure that the acquisitions they are making are at the right price. So far, I haven't really looked at them in so much details. There are around 10 companies I have decided to look at in more details. You can find everything on the Super Investors Club. I will update every day about all the analysis I'm making on these specific companies. I don't know if I'm going to invest in them. Maybe not now, maybe when oil is in a bear market. Who knows? But these are interesting companies because they are less capital intensive. The danger investing in oil is that it is a capital intensive business. But land ownership is not a capital intensive business. It is a better way, in my opinion, to have exposure to oil to the permanent basin. Some of the most boring companies are the best one to invest in. One such boring company is Ulta Beauty. I will recommend you watch this video next. Have a nice day and goodbye.